I hadn't really planned on talking about Temecula, but I live here, so I know it pretty well and have access. But the main reason that I decided to cover Temecula is because it is on historic Route 395. Everybody knows Route 66, but 395, that's my jam. Uh, Route 66 goes cross country. Route 395, up and down. Uh, one of its names originally was Three Flags Highway because it went from Mexico to Canada. I call it Kimber to Carry Road because it always had a few different terminuses, termini, terminusalized um, throughout the realignments. But one of the famous terminus is Temecula and Spokane. And those are two weird cities to connect because they're not very popular or famous cities. And so it's just strange to me that there's a road going to Spokane from Temecula. And we're actually going to be driving all of it um, in a few weeks. So I'm going to document the whole highway. I'm very excited about this. I forgot to say that Carrie is my friend that lives in Spokane. Uh, you really can't beat 395. Uh, I get Route 66. It's cool. But 395, I mean, you see everything. The Sierra Nevadas, Yosemite, the back of Kings. You go up through Death Valley. I mean, the views, they just, you can't beat it. Temecula is a little bit of an old city and a new city. Um, it's been here for a very long time. The word Temecula, it comes from Native Americans. People have been coming through here forever. I mean, it's pretty rich in history. But it wasn't a very big city until recently. We're pretty much halfway between San Diego and Los Angeles, so 8 a.m. every day, uh, traffic is insane going in those directions. It's Los Angeles is north of us, San Diego is south of us. We pretty much can't go either way in the mornings. Um, so it's basically... It's an expensive city, and it's also cheap. The people live here because they can't afford to live in Los Angeles or San Diego, so this is your next safest bet. So it's the most expensive, cheapest place that you could live, if that makes sense. Uh, some other good things about Temecula, it's considered very safe here, and the schools are considered excellent. Um, I don't have any kids, but other people seem to care about that. Uh, I mean, it's, it functions as a city, no major problems. Uh, back in the 80s, I believe the city is actually just a bit younger than me, or maybe just slightly older. I think it was in the 80s. Uh, they kind of built it up for tourism, where... There were some old things around, because like I said, it's an old city, but they went through Old Town and made everybody redo the front to look old, to draw people in, to spend money. So, it looks kind of cool, but, I mean, for me personally, 
Whatever. I don't really go down there. On the other two ends of the city, uh, up in the hills, they grow avocados. Uh, if you go down the highway, it's called Avocado Highway. Um, a lot of rich people up there. And if you go the other way, you come out to wine country and they're growing grapes. And there's big, beautiful grounds you can drink wine on and spend money. I don't really go out there either. Uh, like I said, it does go all the way down to Mexico or has in the past. So there is a terminus in San Diego. Um, it is maybe half hour, 45 minute drive out to this terminus. So I will cover that portion eventually because there is a bridge that I really, really like. But other than that, you know, San Diego is a city. So, I mean, it's still there. There's not much. Abandoned or gone. Uh, what I like about Temecula is I can do anything I want to do in an hour. I could go to the beach, I could go to the snow, I could go to the mountains, I could go to the lowest point in the country, I could go to Death Valley, I could go to Yosemite. I can pretty much get anywhere in a couple of hours. San Diego, Los Angeles, doesn't matter. I can get there. Things I don't like about Temecula, the people are pretty racist and bigoted. And you see that everywhere you go, but there's more of it here. But I have met some really great people, and during George Floyd protests, uh, we had over 500 kids. So the next day when the Trumpers came out, um, they only had one or 200. So I guess the kids are all right. Betty, do you have anything to add about Temecula? If you still think Route 66 is better, leave a comment. I'll tell you you're wrong. Do it. And hit subscribe. Or I'll punch you in the face. Mom too. Route 395 is better than Route 66 every time. I don't care what you say. I'm serious. I really want you to agree with me that 395 is better than Route 66. Like I think this should go viral.